What's up, guys? Brett Mix here, Macho Wrestling 101, here for another week of the Monday Night Wars. Hit like and subscribe if you like what's going on with this history of wrestling videos. Also, pump out Raw, SmackDown reviews uh, for the current product as well. This is week 36, June the 10th, 1996. This is the 39th episode of Nitro, but the 36th week they've gone head-to-head -head with Raw. Nitro beat Raw for three straight weeks, but Raw wins this one by 0.1. Because the rating was 2.7. That's for Raw. 2.6. That's for Nitro. Nitro would never lose to the WWF for two years after this episode. But Raw wins one final time this night. On this June 10th, 1996. So through 36 weeks now, Nitro has 17 wins, 17 losses, and 2 draws. That's amazing. That's how close it was before Nitro goes on their 2-year winning streak, or 83 weeks, whatever it is. Nitro, before they do that, this is the last Raw that wins and the week. And they were drawn 17, 17, and 3. 17 wins, 17 losses, 3 draws for Nitro. 17 wins, 17 losses, 3 draws for Raw. It You can't get any closer than that. Yet, Nitro then goes on a huge winning streak. But this is the last Raw that won. But anyways, Raw wins 2.7 to 2.6. And this is the 2.6 Nitro. It begins with Tony Schiavone again as we're the commentators for the first hour, Schiavone and Zabisco. Um, we'll see later in the night what the man we know is Razor Ramon. They haven't called him Scott Hall yet, and they haven't called him Razor Ramon, but we'll see what he brings tonight as a big surprise. He said he got a big surprise for Bischoff. We're live on TNT from the Wheeling Civic Center in Wheeling, West Virginia. Scott Steiner takes on Booker T to open up the match or show. Both these guys are used to wrestling singles matches, but here we are. Booker T and Scott Steiner would have plenty of single matches late in their careers, but this is just new territory at the time. Steiner complaining about the hair as Booker T was taken down. Steiner hooked off a backslide attempt by Booker T and a pitting combination near fall. Then Steiner flows over. Steiner picks him up where he landed a belly-to-belly -belly suplex overhead. Then Booker T got in control, hit a front face lock down on the mat in a standing position. Scott Steiner with right hands and then Irish whip to the boot, to the head. A beautiful belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Booker then with a side suplex as he gets back up. And he went for another side suplex, but uh, Steiner had it scouted and landed on his feet. Booker T through the ropes, ducks, and then comes off with a scissors kick. Booker T off the top rope with a swan dive in near the end here. And he was hurting himself in the process. As Scott Steiner moved out of the way when Booker did a swan dive. Steiner looking to capitalize on the error by Booker T. Steiner sends Booker to the ropes and one last belly to belly to Booker T. And that's what wins it. Scott Steiner wins at the end at 55-54. So I rated it two stars and a quarter for Steiner to be Booker T. with a belly to belly suplex. Deborah McMichael cut a promo about with me and Gene about uh, the upcoming Green McMichael Horseman match. And tried to dis dis Ric Flair and talk about how he's been trying to come after her and vice versa about how vice versa about how she's going after him but in a different way DDP versus Jim Powers Diamond Dallas Page with the arm of Jim Powers a arm ringer a face buster an elbow drop he chokes him on the top ropes and and then he tried to hit a drop kick but DDP dodged it uh, came back with a reverse elbow and then a diamond cutter for the win DDP wins at 404 after beating Jim Powers I rated it a star and a quarter Sting take on Mang. Mang, one of the tough guys in the wrestling industry. He came out of a cross body, but then Sting dropped it with a series of clotheslines. Trying to keep the big man off his feet, off his vertical base to wear him down. Small package on Sting by Mang, and just a two. A roll up in the corner near the end here, and Mang kicks out. Scorpion death lock by Sting, and that's what wins it. Sting defeats Mang at 309 versus, via Scorpion death lock. Backstage, Deborah wanted to go to, to the Horsemen to make sure they could get out of their this Sunday's match. A Renegade and Joe Gomez came to her aid as they got beaten by the Horsemen, their opponents, later in the night. Instead, we get a Luger Sting Horseman titles match tonight instead as Joe Gomez and uh, Renegade were jumped by the Horsemen in the back. Jim Duggan versus Squire David Taylor. Squire is S-Q-U-I-R-E. That's just the name he goes by it. And he's with Jeeves. Jeeves is the manager of the Blue Bloods. David Taylor is one of them, along with Eaton and Regal. 
So Jim Duggan takes on David Taylor here, uh, one of the Blue Bloods. David Taylor knocked out by the tape of Jim Duggan after a brawl that went back and forth. In the end, Duggan wins at 225 after he used the tape for uh, for the crushing elbow. And uh, the video package of mis- uh, a video package of Mysterio Malenko hits the feed. And I rated that match a star and a quarter. Pyros go off as we're, li- we're now live for an hour or two of Nitro on TNT. The Giant defends the world title against Scott Norton. Scott Norton goes for rights, but they have little effect. In the end, a minute 42 in, the Giant took defend by hitting the choke, cl- choke slam on the concrete. Lou rated it half a star. Luger comes back with shots, and uh, the Giant won in the ring, and then he chokes out him on concrete. The Luger came in with shots and hit the Giant. Uh, he said the Giant just wants to hurt people, and, and he battled with the Giant, and the Giant started yelling to preview their Great American Bash match this Sunday, as this is the go-home show to Great American Bash. Lord Steven Regal took some Billy Kidman. It's the first time we ever see Kidman on Nitro. A Boston Crab does him in in less than a minute. So it was lightning quick. So Regal gets the quick victory, three quarters of a star, before his match was staying this Sunday at the Great American Bash. The public enemy, Johnny Grunge and Rocco Rock, take on Brian Nobbs and Jerry Sags, the Nasty Boys. Johnny Grunge and Rocco Rock take a ton of tandem offense. They take on the Nasty Boys in a brawl. Rocco Rock tagged in Johnny Grunge, and he took it to him, knowing the odds um, were against his favor when it was two on one. So Rocco Rock came back and they both brawled outside the ring. Sags with Johnny Grunge on his own. Rocco Rock left Johnny Grunge to be on his own, but this is just a brawl. In the end, at DQ at 11.30, as uh, the Nasty Boys and the, the Public Enemy just they started taking it to each other weapons wise. So they got double DQ'd. I rated it a star in three quarters. Um. In the end, uh, DQ finished that match, and we got t- another one, uh, the main event here. They show a video package of Macho Man not being allowed in the ring or on screen, but he's allowed to coach Kevin Green and Steve McMichael for their match at the Great American Bash coming up. And uh, they've been doing the whole video package thing with the Macho Man Randy Savage. Is he allowed in the building? Is he not allowed in the building? He's not allowed in the building to wrestle or to make an appearance, but he's allowed to coach the Steve, the Carolina Panther, Kevin Green, who was just in the Super Bowl earlier that year against the Cowboys, um, and Steve Mongo McMichael, who's off the broadcast table to train for this fight at the Great American Bash. I may review pay-per-views like the Great American Bash or other pay- random pay-per-views when I'm doing these raw reviews. I might just stick them in a random folder. Uh, I'm undecided on that yet, but it's something I might do. Anyway, the main event up, is up next. Lex Luger and Sting defend their titles against the Four Horsemen. Arn Anderson and Ric Flair with Miss Elizabeth and Woman for the Tag Team Championship. This was a basic match. Suplexes by Steiners. Clothes, clothes lines by Luger and Sting. Stinger splashes in the corner. A lot of tandem offense where they isolated Luger so he could get the hot tag to Sting. Sting comes in and clears the host on the... T- on the the four horsemen. The horsemen do a good job of selling. Flair does his usual begging. Arn Anderson was more of the roughhouser when he was in there with Luger in his strength of power. Frequent tags, isolating them in their corner of the ring, um, just cutting off their half of the ring. Luger and Sting, though, get the end result as they retain the titles at 1834. Afterwards, the Giant interfered. I rated this match two stars and three quarters. The Giant interfered and laid people out with choke slams, including his great American passion opponent, Luger. All of a sudden, we're back to the podium, and, and Bischoff's there at the podium, and Scott Hall uh, goes to talk to Bischoff, and he's in a black vest this time, and he goes like this with a toothpick. He's not alone this time. So the show ends with Bischoff commenting once again on Scott Hall. Who is this challenge? Who is this with your surprise? And he's not going to be alone tonight because right, as he turns around, there's Kevin Nash in a hat. He says, this is where the big boys play, huh? Look at the adjective. Play. We're not here to play. He says, where's Hogan and Savage? He says, we want to fight. And then Bischoff says, if you want a challenge, I'll get you to the American Bash. Great American Bash. So that's it. The, these guys that are not named yet, the outsiders not yet named, are going to be at the Great American Bash. And I'll tell you what happens on the Bash pay-per-view at the beginning of the next Nitro review. So that's Nitro for this night. They lose two. They lose by 0.1 in the ratings, but it's the last time for nearly two years. I'm Brett Mix, and I'm out.